Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you one of my most requested recipes. Why did it take so long to make a simple homestyle curry? Well, just wait until later and I'll tell you all about it. But first, let's dive right into this easy curry. Let's get started. So we want to start with marinating our chicken first. I'm using some chicken thighs, which I'm just going to cube up. If you want, you can use chicken breast as well, or a combination of thighs and breast, whatever you like. Add all the chicken into a large bowl, and then add in some yogurt, turmeric, red chili powder, ginger garlic, ground coriander, and garam masala. Season with salt, and then give the salt a really nice mix. You could substitute this yogurt with sour cream if you want as well. Now this is a one pot recipe, so that's super convenient. So now let's focus onto our pot, our actual pan in this case actually. So heat up some ghee or olive oil if you like in a pan and then let's start adding in some of our whole spices. To so start with some cumin seeds, cinnamon, bay leaf, some green chilies, and ginger garlic paste. And then just saute this until the whole spices are nice and aromatic. We're gonna be using lots of onions for this and the onions are gonna add lots of body and sweetness and flavor to the sauce. So add in loads of thinly sliced onions and then we let this start to sweat out a bit and start to get softer and softer. You can add in a pinch of salt to help cook down these onions and once it's been 10 or so minutes and the onion have softened, they start to look nice and reddish brown, then add in all of your chicken. The idea is to let the chicken seal up on the outside and just absorb all that beautiful flavor from the onions and the whole spices, and for the chicken to give all of that beautiful marinade flavor into the base of our sauce as well. Let this cook until the chicken has changed the color on the outside. At this point, you don't have to cook the chicken all the way through. Then, after five or so minutes, add in some tomatoes, and I'm just going to cut them in a large dice, just like this, just in some quarters. I love cutting the tomatoes like this for this home style chicken curry, because when the curry is actually ready, you'll find these lumps of tomatoes, which is just packed full of sweet and delicious flavor. And it really adds to the rusticness of this curry, which is super exciting. So along with the tomatoes, add in your ground spices, the red chili powder, ground coriander, and then two super important ones, fennel powder and ground green cardamom. These two spices are really gonna add so much depth and flavor to that sauce, and it's really gonna add so much fragrance to that curry, and it's amazing what fennel and green cardamom can do together. Now we're gonna cook this down until the tomatoes have started to soften and break down. And this is gonna take you a couple of minutes, so continue sauteing, continue stirring, just enjoy the amazing aromas mingling in your kitchen. Then once the tomatoes have cooked down and your ingredients are basically really easy to slide around the pan, it's a good indication that the curry is ready for the next step, which is to create our gravy. So add in some hot water and create a nice and thin sauce. We did a non-stick pan to make this really makes this recipe super easy. So once you've added your water, just mix that all and you get a nice thin sauce. And the idea now is just to put the lid on, lower the heat, then just cook this gently, simmering for between 10 to 15 minutes or until the sauce is completely cooked. It has thickened slightly. The chicken is completely cooked and it has had the chance to become super tender. Now, while this simmers, let me tell you why it took me so long to put up this recipe. I don't have a home style chicken curry to refer to because we didn't eat chicken growing up as kids. We didn't have a traditional mom style or home style chicken curry. It's something that I had to develop over a couple of months, I guess, and just iterate on what I like, what I don't like, and here's what we have. And this recipe actually came out of a chicken curry samosa request that somebody put in and it was a pretty intriguing idea. And I can't find the comments if somebody can find that for me and shout that person out, that'd be awesome. But thanks to that, the curry itself became so tasty 
that I said, forget the Formosa for now, let's focus on the actual Formosa curry. And this curry has quickly become one of my favorite because it's so quick to make, it is so delicious. And while editing, I got so hungry looking at it that I had to have it again. And here's what you'll see after you let the chicken cook and really give it the time it deserves. And now all we want to do is adding some fresh cilantro, give that a mix, and this sauce looks amazing. It's velvety smooth, it's super fragrant, and it's a perfect dish for you to put together on any weeknight. So give this video a like if you enjoyed this recipe, and be sure to share this with somebody who needs a go-to chicken curry recipe for the weeknights or for the weekends. And for more chicken curries, put the links over here.